Hey guys, this is Shukesh Bonik from Gadgets Portal and today I'm going to unbox this new Galaxy Grand Neo which is I'll say an upgrade of the Galaxy Grand Win or Galaxy Grand Quattro though it has a lot of similarities with the Galaxy Grand Duos. Now the pricing of this smartphone is around 18,000 rupees in India that is around 290 USD and the latest Galaxy Grand 2 is priced at around 22,000 rupees. These are the specs this phone offers and as you know, Galaxy Grand Quattro is retailing at around 14,000 rupees and the Galaxy Grand Duos is around 17,000 rupees. So let's find out how justified is this device at this price point. Here is the new Galaxy Grand Neo with the typical Samsung design and the back panel is matte finished not like Grand 2 or Grand Duos. This is something different. Now let's find out what are the accessories inside the box. Well, first of all, you are getting the user manuals which are made of recycled paper just like this box and there are some extra earbuds of different sizes. So the earphone is an in-ear type 1 and with gold plating on the 3.5mm jack. This is basically the premium Samsung headphone you get with devices like Galaxy Grand 2 and the quality of this headphone is decent with great sound clarity. This is the micro USB to USB cable and it's very short for desktop use. And the reason is that the charging adapter has the cable attached. Well, it's not bad, you are getting two separate cables and you don't have to remove the cable from the charging adapter now and then. This black adapter will not get dirty very easily as well. Now last but not the least is the battery which is of 2100 mAh and this is not bad for a device with these specs. It's basically the same you get with Galaxy Grand Duos. Well guys that's all inside the box, now let's get rid of these things here and let's have a quick look at the device. Here you go friends, the new Galaxy Grand Neo with a very simple elegant look at the front and it's very shiny as well. You must be very much familiar with this design statement of Samsung. The back has got fine matte finish and though it's not like the leather like back of Galaxy Grand 2 but it's far better than the glossy oily back covers of Samsung devices. The finish build quality and the look of all the Samsung phones are more or less same so there is basically a benefit of getting entry level or mid range Samsung devices because you are getting the same look and the build of premium devices like Note 3, S4 etc which is obviously not the case with other manufacturers. Now let me give you a quick walkthrough of the exterior and then I'll show you the interior that is the software and the interface. First of all this is the ear speaker with couple of sensors here and the front camera is of VGA resolution. This is a dual sim phone with dual standby mode and also with the smart dual sim function that is you can get calls from the sim too even when you are busy on the sim one. On the left side you are getting the power key and the volume rocker is on the right side. The handling of the power key is very good but the volume rocker is out of reach actually. At the bottom you are getting the micro USB port and there is no OTG support out of the box. This hole is for the microphone. At the front there is a push button home key which is slightly raised from the base and there are two android capacitive keys as well. The display is of 5 inches diagonally and this is a TFT LCD display. For one hand handling 5 inches displays are just perfect. You can reach each and every part of the display once you get used to this. I'll talk about the display quality later on in this review once I turn on the phone. The rear camera is of 5 megapixels resolution with HD recording and with an LED flash. This is the loudspeaker grill. Well, Grand Neo takes normal mini SIM cards and you are getting the other slot here. Now guys, let's switch on this device and give you a quick walkthrough of the interface and also check the quality of the display. The device is ultimately ready and one of the main reasons you may like this smartphone is this huge display. So let's change this wallpaper and have a close look. 
Now the resolution of this huge 5 inches display is only 800 by 480 and the PPI is 187 that's why you can easily notice the pixels if you look from a very shorter distance but this is a huge display and you are not going to look at it from this distance from normal distance this low ppi may not bother you and if you haven't used any kind of high resolution display before then you will surely love this very colorful display the pixels are slightly smooth which are compensating the low ppi considering the price you cannot expect a high definition display on a samsung branded phone for that you should go for galaxy grand 2 which is only 4000 rupees more than this grand new as you can see there is a slight color difference in between these two displays. Grand Neo's display seems more colorful than that of Grand 2. Neo's icons are also slightly larger because of its low PPI. What I like here is the display is still usable with one hand unlike Note 3, Note 2 or Galaxy Grand 2. At launch Neo is priced at around 18,000 rupees and after a few months this will surely go down to 16 or 15,000 rupees just like Grand Quattro though this is a far better phone than the Quattro and I'll talk about that in the later part of this review. Now let me give you a quick tour on this very beautiful TouchWiz user interface. The lock screen of TouchWiz devices are always very feature rich and as this phone is running on Android 4.2.2 Jelly Bean, you are getting multiple widgets and multiple lock screens. Swiping to the left will bring your frequently used applications which you can obviously customize and you can also switch it with the camera launcher. You can create new pages and paste new widgets from this list here. So in this way you can do a lot of things without even unlocking the phone. Swiping these apps here will launch them right away from the lock screen. You can also set up wake up command that is you can give some voice commands on the lock screen and perform a lot of specific tasks. The home screen's panels can be increased to 7 and you can put your application's shortcut and also remove the necessary ones. Now let's quickly check the writing experience on this grand new. As you know Samsung keyboards are one of the best keyboards to write on. The continuous input is very fast and also very accurate. 5 inches display is also not too large for one hand typing. The notification window is nicely customized with lots of toggle switches and you can just swipe with two fingers to get all of this in a single page. You can access most of your frequently used settings from here and you can just press and hold on anyone to go to the specific settings. Now unfortunately there is no ambient light sensor on this Galaxy Grand Neo. You have to always manually set the brightness from here. These are the preloaded applications into this Grand Neo and most of these applications are just the typical Samsung and Google apps. Along with Google now you are getting S voice voice assistance from Samsung and also group play for sharing music and this S translator is a very handy app. There are some extra Google apps here. I am really happy that Samsung included this S Memo app into this Grand Neo. Galaxy Grand 2 didn't have any note taking application out of the box. This is a very premium app with lots of settings. You are getting 5 different type of pens and you can change the brush size, color and also add presets. This app is very useful sometimes and to get the most of it, you should buy a capacitive stylus. You can add text as well. You can also import different type of medias like images, maps and also clippers. You can make voice memos with this option here. Now this TouchWiz UI is the simplest and the most user friendly interface you can find on any smartphone and along with this simplicity this is also very smart. This multi window feature is basically a breakthrough for the large display smartphones and with this smart state turned on the display won't turn off as long as you are looking at it with the help of the front facing camera. There is also a hands free mode which will enable this phone to read out all of your notifications including incoming calls, messages, alarm and schedule info. Let me quickly show you the multi window feature. As you know with this feature you can basically split the display into two and run two applications simultaneously. In this way you can truly multitask and make the best use of large displays like this. The multi window version here is not the latest one you get on Grand 2 or the Note 3. 
You can resize these windows, exchange and make anyone full screen. There are some motion and gesture controlled features as well. For example, you can just flip the phone to pause any music or video playing. You can do the same by putting your hand or putting your palm on the screen as well. As the display is large, Samsung has included some 100 operations. You can adjust the position of keypad, dialer, calculator and the unlock pattern. As you can see, the dialer is now more easily accessible with one hand. This is very useful if you have medium or small sized hand. There are two storage versions of this grand new and I have the 8 gig version. Out of the box, I am getting 5.01 GB free. This phone supports microSD card up to 64 gig and as you know, you can move few applications by a very small portion. The Android version as you can see is 4.2.2 Jelly Bean. Now let's check the RAM uses and this phone has got officially 1GB of RAM before installing any application. We are getting 428MB of free RAM which is not bad for multitasking and for gaming. But this is just the out of the box value. After using it for a while and installing some games and applications I can comment on the real performance of this new smartphone from Samsung. A full review on this smartphone is coming soon so make sure you subscribe and keep in touch. Now last but not the least, the CPU on this smartphone is remarkable 1.2GHz quad core. It's a Cortex A7 not Cortex A5 like Galaxy Grand Quattro and same as Galaxy Grand 2. Though this time Samsung has included a Broadcom chipset and this is basically the first quad core Broadcom CPU. The GPU on this smartphone is Broadcom Video Core 4 HW. I'll run some benchmarks on this smartphone and check the real capability of this CPU and GPU. So check the channel for a benchmark review as well. Overall this new Samsung Galaxy Grand Neo seems nice and it's far superior to Galaxy Grand Quattro and also Galaxy Grand Duos. So you can get it if you like it. That's all in this review guys. You can connect with me on Facebook at facebook.com slash gadgets portal and on Twitter at gadgets portal. You can also check my other channel gadgets portal play at youtube.com slash gadgets portal play. Thanks for watching. See you in the next review. Bye bye and keep in touch.